And welcome to the post game show where the TSU Tigers just ended their season with a 47 28 loss to the Grambling Tigers. So TSU finishes the year out at four and seven. The Grambling Tigers will go to nine and one. But like we were talking about just a few minutes ago, it's a losing season, but it's not a losing season because there were right. a lot of really positive things done. Yeah, TSU really did some great things this year. First year for Coach Michael Haywood. A couple of really tough losses to begin the season against Prairie View. Um, lost their starting quarterback, Jay Kristoff, in that game. They really have to revamp their entire offense on the fly the second half of the season. Had some really good wins in the middle of the season, that four-game winning streak, and uh, finish it up with a tough loss here this afternoon and against Grambling. And they came in here and really shocked these Grambling Tigers for yeah. at least a half here. Let's take a look <laughs> at some of the highlights now, and we can roll the tape and take a look, because what an exciting first half, and that's Martez Carter going in for the first score of the ball game, and then check out Avrion Hurts with a perfect pass to Austin Watts. Yeah, Just laid top. that thing out there, and then I, I keep saying I love this guy, Bernie. Just diving in for a touchdown, showing off his power. And then look at TSU, Hurts again to Malik Webb. Just, we saw all this in the first half. Yeah, and then the strip by Jarius Moore. And at that point, all of a sudden, TSU up 28 to seven in this ball game. And then of course, Grambling comes back, a couple of deep passes from Ken K into the end zone, back to, to back to Hunter. Verlin Hunter from Ken And Kincaid. then one right before the end of the half and that gives Grambling the lead and then they start to pour it on in the second half picking apart the Texas Southern secondary and their kicker had the best day of his life this afternoon and what he, a great day for Malik Webb though he did he came in he's a young fella he came in got involved with the offense and made some big plays and that was one he almost made there and as you can see, Devontae Kincaid, though, he he lived up to the hype today. Yeah, absolutely. He had that little streak in the second quarter where he showed what all the hype's been about. And then they had that one-two punch on the ground of Kelly and Carter. You see Carter going outside, turning it inside, and then diving for the pylon. And then the defense of Grambling making some big stops. Kincaid got beat up in the second half, had to leave the ball game. As you see, Jarius Moore make a big play there. Jonathan Bowen had some nice moments this afternoon. And Unfortunately, yes. the big fumble there, and that kind of ended the rally for Texas Southern as Grambling goes down. They did a good job on Chad Williams this afternoon. He only had three receptions. Grambling just has so many weapons, and there's the interception on defense. You can't stop everybody. You can try, but you can't stop everybody. I mean, they have so many weapons. I thought TSU did an outstanding job today, especially in the first half, minus that little stretch where we had the two turnovers there near the end of the first half, because that was it. As we look at the stats, you can see the total yards that, again, Texas Southern getting some total yards today, 324 to 461. Yeah, absolutely. And you look at the offensive numbers, 133 yards on the ground for the Tigers, 191 through the air. But Grambling really rushing the football, particularly in the second half with Carter and Kelly picking up 269 yards on yeah. the ground. Kelly with 133 on 20 carries, and Carter with 122 on just 10 carries. Wow, that, that kid was getting on my nerves all day long. <laughs> but the big receiver for TSU this afternoon, Malik Webb, led the team with seven receptions for 89 yards. Avion Hurts, 12 of 24 through the air. 171 yards, two touchdowns, and then on the ground, it was Jonathan Bowen actually leading the team in rushing with 62 yards on the ground. Jonathan Bowen did a good job coming in running the ball. So did Bernie. Uh, it just they got a lot of good effort from a lot of people today. They really did. And they, they, they played a lot of people. They played two quarterbacks. They played uh, two running backs. Yeah. So, so they maximized everything they had today. Yeah, and a lot of the seniors got a chance to play this afternoon, their final game, Bernie. Um, Webb, Moore, all those guys had big games, particularly defensively, but then also the running backs also had a huge game. Uh, well, and today. that's what some of the assistant coaches were telling me before the game. They said, we know Grambling is in first place. We know Grambling has all this talent, but we want to come out and show them what TSU is all about. We have something special for them, and they showed they could play with them. Right. Grambling, they're going to they're gonna be in the ice tubs tomorrow. They had a <laughs> tough football game, a tough physical football game out here this afternoon against Texas Southern. It was not a cakewalk by any means. You look at the final score, you see it's 47-28, but you have to go back a couple of periods. Grambling was actually down in this ball game 28 to 7. And now the big thing for Texas Southern is how do you rebuild and reboot because you lose 28 seniors 
So that's one of the places you're going to have to start. Well, Coach Haywood is a great recruiter. He's going to get on the recruiting trail, probably bring in some junior college transfers, some graduate students from some other universities that may not get playing time, kind of similar to what Sam Houston does down in Huntsville. Look for them to build a power here in Third Ward. And one of the things they don't talk a lot about, but they lost a lot of players this year. We mentioned the quarterbacks near the end of the broadcast, but they had a lot of other injuries that they had to work around and people not on the team and different things they had to work around. So that's that's extremely hard. And speaking of that, the man who had to do all of this stuff, Coach Michael Haywood, is standing by with Nick Strong. Nick? Coach, tough loss tonight for the Tigers. Come up just a little bit short in the last game of the season. Talk about your play tonight. Well, defensively, I think that we played strong. Uh, this is probably the first game of the season that we lost our special team games. They, out, they outplayed us in the special team games. And then offensively, we didn't do anything in the second half. I mean, we couldn't get anything moving, didn't protect the quarterback very well, and, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we didn't have a good good day in the second half. Coach, your first year at TSU here, first year at TSU here comes to a close. Talk about the season. Well, you know, I think that we built a foundation, uh, a foundation to build upon. Yes. Well, we learned how to compete, but we didn't learn how to win. Because I think that the games in which we're in, I think uh, four out of the seven in which we lost, we're within a seven-point range, one to eight-point range. But we learned how to compete. Now we have to build upon that foundation and start to learn how to win. And we lose 28 seniors, and uh, there's an opportunity to bring 25 young bloods in. We'll have a couple of uh, JC guys, a um, couple of uh, transfers from other universities. Of but we will build that foundation with the freshmen that we bring in. Coach, why Texas Southern University? Texas Southern University, outstanding academic school, a great place. Uh, if you're looking for an outstanding foundation to build, a great academics, great football, and a great social environment, and if you like the city, come on to Texas Southern University because it's a wonderful place. Coach, thanks a lot. Good luck with the offseason and good luck for next year. Thank you. All right. Back up to you guys. Well, we learned how to compete, but we didn't learn how to win. That's for next season to learn how to win. For Ken Moore and our entire crew, I'm Butch Alcindor. Be safe and have a great night.